Solving proportions with number chips. This is the Easter version. All the instructions are on slide two. Students are gonna start on slide three. So they're gonna be solving these proportions by scaling up and scaling down for the first few slides. And they're gonna move these colorful chips into the correct places. These letters will come into play later when they're solving a riddle. So here they're going to scale up by multiplying by four. So this number is gonna be a four. So they just click and hold on the number and they move it into place. So here they're gonna divide by five. So this would be a seven. So on each slide, you have all of the numbers that you need. So they're gonna use them all. So they've got a couple slides where they're scaling up or scaling down. And then they've got a few, a couple slides where they can't do that. They have to use means and extremes. Uh -huh. So you might point out to them that all they need to do is look at the numbers that are opposite each other. Eight times five is 40. So 20 times what number would also be 40. So again, click and hold, move it into place. And they'll be moving, they'll be um, using every single number chip. And another one with means and extremes. Now they're going to be looking at proportional tables to see if they're proportional. And they're just going to highlight yes or no. So on this first one, multiply by five on each one. So you multiply the X term times five and you get the Y. So yes, it is proportional. So they're going to click on yes, come up here to the fill color, and they can pick any color they want to show that's their answer. The next one, multiply by three. Well, when they get to nine and 25, they're not gonna multiply by three. So no, this table is not proportional. So click on it, come up to the fill color feature, and they can fill it in with any color they like. They've got another slide with two other tables. They're gonna do the same thing. And then when they get to slide nine, they're gonna solve an Easter riddle. To do that, they're gonna go back to the previous slides, find all of these numbers with the right color, and they're gonna move them to the side to find a letter underneath. Okay, so if they move the number, that number that's that same color, if they move it to the side, there will be a letter underneath. They're gonna type that letter down here. So they just click in each one of these. Once they find these number chips with the same color, pull them to the side and there'll be a letter and that will solve the riddle. What is an Easter egg's least favorite day? <laughs>